Record. Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly call for Team Relentless. I'm glad to have you on. A uh, few announcements. We are in the final uh, days of June and we are pushing hard to hit success club. Don't give up no matter where you're at. I say this on every call that so many people um, hit success club even in the last few days. So make sure that you are utilizing your power hour and doing this consistently. And this is one thing that I teach in all my coach training groups is that, you know, focus on reaching out to people, consistently inviting, and consistently posting on social media about your journey, about your life, so people can stay connected with you. Because this is how you are going to build relationships with people and build people's interests. And you know, the last thing we want to do is be you know, salesy. So you know, use your personal experience with the 21 Day Fix. I hope that if you're a coach that you actually own it. If not, you need to purchase it because it's been a life changer and a major game changer for so many people out there. And currently it's on sale. For $140, um, you get Shakeology and 21 Day Fix or 21 Day Fix Extreme. Plus, we have the Kickstart that's on sale that uh, includes three day refresh. This is a great way to get people uh, on the right track. It's a short program and it's really simple and easy. So make sure that you're going back, following up with people who you may have talked to in the past about the 21 Day Fix and it wasn't the right time for them or their finances weren't right. And, uh, you know, follow up with them, get them into a free group. Um, I'm going to be starting my July group, which is the 21 day squats or 21 day. Um, I'm trying to come up with something else, an alternative, because not everybody can do squats because of knee injuries or whatnot. And um, so you can invite them if you're on my team into this group. We work together. We have a lot of amazing coaches in there that are going to be working together. And this is going to be great that if you're going to Summit, that you're going to be kind of out of pocket. Then there's other coaches in there who can kind of pick up the slack and help run the groups because, like I said, we work really well as a team together. I'm also starting a new Emerald to Diamond and a new coach training group that starts on the 6th. So if you have any new coaches, go ahead and get get with them to see if they want to participate. And if you're a coach and want to participate, if you're a part of Team Relentless, let me know. Um, because this is going to be a great way to drive um, your business in the last half of the year. So tonight we have um, Brianne on. She is a fellow elite coach. She has done some amazing things. Her and I kind of have a similar story of being one of those skinny fat people who stumbled upon Beach Body, which really changed our whole life. And... Um, I asked her to speak on this call because she really has a great story about how changing her mindset as a coach has really helped drive her business. I know for me, uh, I really feel that my transformation and my story is really based on the changes I've made attitude wise uh, and having a positive mindset uh, more so than a physical transformation. I have had great results, but for me, the story that I tell is how I went from uh, a negative person who was bitter and angry and unforgiving to a really happy, uh, loving person that wants to build relationships instead of pushing people away. And so I thought that she could come on and tell uh, her story. That way you have, you know, somebody else's voice, somebody else's story that maybe you can connect to. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Brianne. I will unmute you. There you go. Oh. There you are. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Hi guys. Um, okay. Like Mindy said, thank you guys for having me um, on the call tonight. I'm really excited to be here. Um, so yes, I lovingly always have referred to myself as the skinny fat, um, which I find so funny. I feel like most people are just like, you never struggled with your weight. And I didn't struggle with my weight, but I did struggle with my health. Um, and I think that that is a really important part of all of our stories because no matter what whether we got into this to lose weight, whether we got into it for the financial freedom, we all have gotten healthier as a result of being with Beachbody. Um, and it's something that I never realized how unhealthy I was until um, I really kind of got, got into this. Um, so a little bit about me. I have um, been a coach for about two and a half years now. I signed up in January of 2013. Um, my story, I kind of say, actually goes back to like nine months before that. Um, my husband got hurt right outside of our house um, in March of 2012, and um, he was out of work for 12 weeks. And when you are a one paycheck family and that paycheck goes away, you are really in a lot of trouble. We didn't have anything really in savings. Um, we just paid off our credit cards, but we ended up running all of them back up because the disability policy that he had was just enough to pay our mortgage and keep our lights on. Um, so we ran back up our credit cards and 
that was it. I just remembered feeling really, really stuck and thinking, you know, that there really has to be something out there for me. I had, um, worked full time before my oldest, who is now seven, um, was born. And I didn't really want to leave the house to go back to work. My younger one was, you know, um, five months old at the time when he got hurt. And once he went back to work, it was really hard for me to, um, try to find something outside of our house because I mean, I just said it's nine 30. He just walked in the door 10 minutes ago. It's nine 30 here. Um, his hours are so crazy that it really was hard for me to try to find something, um, with a schedule. So I kind of started looking, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. And my mom came to me that fall and said that she was drinking Shakeology and I should try it. And, um, I, I kind of, I gave her a lot of resistance. I really felt like it wasn't for me. I was like, I don't really need to lose weight. I never struggled with my weight. Um, but I wasn't always healthy. I was a really, really big coffee drinker. I drank five, six cups of coffee a day and I'd eat breakfast or lunch until two or three in the afternoon. Um, and I just kind of got by. Um, I was always sluggish. I was always tired. I was always cranky. And I was, I was really negative. It was always, you know, these things are happening to us. Um, I'm not sure why, you know, we can't catch a break and nothing good is going to come out of this. Um, and if any of you have read the energy boss, I don't know, that's like the new, the new personal development book that everybody's recommending, but it's a great book. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend it. Um, but I was very much like George, who's the character in there. I always felt like bad things were happening to me and it was kind of the way things were always going to be. And, um, you know, then this, this opportunity came along and I tried Shakeology and I really liked it, but we couldn't afford it at full price. So my mom had said, well, you can sign up, you can pay 40 bucks and sign up and get a discount on your Shakeology. And I was like, okay, I, I'll try that. Anything to save money. And, um, that was it. You know, my mom was a fairly new coach and her, um, sponsor was very high up in Narium. Um, she did beach body on the side. So she really was of no help to my mom who really was of no help to me. Um, when I started and I didn't know that I could reach out to my start, I'm an upline, you know, for help or for support or for anything like that. So I really just kind of, my mom was like, I think there's training somewhere. Um, and this was actually before the coach training Academy that we just got rid of. Um, so there was just some of like mishmash training in the back office and I tried to just find my way through it as best as I could. And the real kicker for me was really stumbling upon the success stories tab that we have in our back office. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Um, there's some really great stories on there. There's some customer testimonials about challenge groups and about, um, Shakeology and what, you know, being a Beachbody customer has done. And then there's also all these great testimonials from coaches. And it was really seeing those kinds of testimonials from people that were just like me that really made me believe that I could do this too. And as I started reading more about what this opportunity really was able to do for these people, for these families, people like Brigida and people like Mike Ryan and Christina Delgado and all of these people that we see, you know, all over the network, um, I really kind of sat back and I was like, you know what, this is really, this is what I've been looking for. This is the opportunity that's going to really check yes to everything that I've been wanting to be able to do with my life. And I really just jumped in and never looked back. And I think that a big turning point for me was really making that mindset shift from really not getting myself out of that negative mindset. Um, you know, in the beginning I, was hitting success club, but I wasn't, I wasn't excited about my business. Yeah. I was making some money. Um, I wasn't, um, I, I was hitting success club. I, I got to diamond, but there, I didn't have that fire in me. Um, and I think that the big turning point for me was getting to summit. Um, my very first summit, I was a brand new diamond. Um, it was 2013. I, ranked to diamond, like the last week that you could qualify to be recognized as your rank at summit. That was my goal was I was going to go if I got to diamond. And, um, three weeks later I, I went to summit as a new diamond and I, I was excited, but I wasn't sure why. And it wasn't until 
we got to summit and I remember sitting in general session. I remember sitting all the way in the nosebleeds in the back of the grand garden arena. And, um, Summer Tucker was on stage and she was talking about how she brought her husband home from the military. And I sat there and I just remember bawling. I don't, I'm sure Mindy, like you're shaking your head. Like I just remember crying at that story being like, I have no idea who this girl is. I've never heard of her. Um, and to see her and her husband, and I think they have one of their kids with them on stage. And I just remember being like, you know what, this, this is what's going to change our life. And she had such faith in her business and faith in this company and the opportunity that I was like, there's clearly something that I'm missing. Like there's clearly some kind of piece to this puzzle that I don't have. And it was personal development. I knew what the vital behaviors were. I invited like crazy I was a product of the product. I was drinking Shakeology. I was doing my workouts. I bought T25 at Summit. I was going to go home and do that, but I wasn't doing personal development. And that's why I didn't feel that fire in my business. And changing that my business so much, it changed my mindset. It changed how I felt felt about me. It changed how I worked my business. I was excited to work it. I heard people say, you have to really want to help people. You can't get in this business for the money. You have to get into this business because you want to help people. And it wasn't until I got to Summit and I was able to see the workshops and feel the energy at Summit and have all of these kind of things, like all these bells and everything kind of going off all around me. Um, that I realized that this was what was going to change the course of our lives. But there's so many things that have to go into that. And a big thing that has to go into that is belief. You have to believe in yourself. As much as you believe in the company, as much as you believe in this opportunity, you have to believe in yourself. And when you have that belief in yourself, there is nothing that can stop you. And, you know, this this business is tough to be in. It's, it's tough when you have been in this business for a year and you see people that signed up the same time as you and they're advancing faster, or you see people who are the same rank as you, but they're making more money. This business is really tough when you, when you talk about that kind of comparison. But if you have the belief that these things will happen for you and you have um, the faith in yourself, you really are unstoppable. And I think that that is really powerful. And I think it's really important that we not only do the personal development, but we do the right kind of personal development. And a thing that I find with my coaches a lot is that they'll say, you know, I'm struggling with inviting or I'm struggling with, you know, self-doubt. I feel like I'm not good enough and I have all of these negative thoughts about myself. And I ask them what kind of personal development they're doing. And they're like, oh, I'm reading GoPro. Great personal development, wrong kind of book for what you need. And I think that um, if you really kind of zone in on to the kind of personal development that you really need, you're going to notice a huge change in how you feel. You're going to notice a huge change in how your business runs. Um, and that's all going to kind of bleed together. For me, when I started really, really working on me, everything around me um, really kind of changed. My business grew. Um, my confidence grew because my business grew. But because I was happier with myself and I was happier with how my business was going, I was happier with my kids. I was happier with my marriage. And it all kind of bled together. And now I sit back and I think of the negative mindset that I was in, you know, three years ago. And how are we going to get out of this? And, um, you know, it's just unbelievable to kind of think, I mean, three years ago right now, my husband was out, he was out of work and we had no money. Um, and now, um, you know, we have two full-time incomes. My kids are happy. My kids are thriving. I had a newborn who um, had a lot of health issues. I had a four-year-old who had a lot of issues. And now I have two super kids. I have a great marriage. Um, 
and it's because I believed in myself. It's because I had that mindset and I took it and I took the personal development that we talk about for our business and I applied it to every aspect of my life. Um, so when you were talking about belief and when we're talking about, um, you know, really changing your, this is what I do with my coaches. We sit down and we do a brain dump and we talk about, um, what's on our minds. Is it business? Is it family? Is it bills? Is it kids? Is it money? Is it everything under the sun? And we break it down and we say, what's the most important? Let's start with your business. We break down what has to be done for your business. Break it down into the behaviors. Take it one thing at a time. Do your power hour. Focus on everything that you need to do during your power hour for your business each day. Talk about your focus on your personal development. Focus on your product of the product. Drink your Shakeology. Do your workouts. Focus on your inviting. Make sure that you're inviting to the business opportunity every single day. Make sure that you're inviting to challenge groups, whether it's a pay group or a free group. Make sure that you're inviting. More than inviting, make sure that you're following up. And I think that's where probably 95% of the coaches tend to fall by the wayside is we're not following up with people. And everybody's busy. So people forget. I know I, if I don't have anything written down, it's gone. It might as well not be in my head. Um, so following up to me is like the fourth vital behavior. It's so critical because we lose so much if we're not following up. Um, I am always on the go. I'm totally not organized. I'm like organized chaos. I'm always running around. I have a million things going on. Um, so one tip that I always like to give, um, if you're somebody who's not super organized in every other aspect, um, but you always have your phone on you is I use this app called Asana to track my follow-ups. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of it or any of you have used it, but for me, it's like the best thing ever. I have it on my iPhone. I have it on my iPad. I have it on the computer. It moves, it syncs seamlessly all together. It allows me to track my follow-ups. I can tag them with programs. I can tag them with due dates for follow-up dates. I can leave little comments for things about them when I'm forming them. Um, and the great thing for me is if I'm running around, which I usually am, whether I'm running one to karate or one to, to dance or to preschool or wherever I need to be going, um, I just have my phone with me. So if I'm you know, waiting for 10 minutes somewhere, I can always fire off some follow-ups on my phone. Um, so that's a tip that I always like to share because for me, um, having my follow-ups on a notepad or having them just on Excel in my computer never worked for me because I never had a specific set time that I could sit and get this kind of stuff done. So whenever I had time, I always liked to kind of go back through and make sure that I could um, track my follow-up to that. So that's one of my favorite tips um, that I always like to give for following up. Um, um, I know we talked a lot about mind dump. Mind dump. Um, um, Lindy, was there anything that you specifically wanted me to touch on? I'm just like just rambling. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> Y'all can't read my list. <laughs> so, you know that. You know that was great. I just wanted to hear your story. And for me, you know what I heard, and I hope everybody else can really hear, is that what I teach at the Three Bio Behaviors Training is what she was doing, and she was doing what most coaches were doing, only doing two out of three. I can't say that one is more important than the other. They all work together, just like all of our body parts work together to make us mm -hmm. human beings. You know, all of it's there. Most people really skip. It's easy to drink your Shakeology. You know, it's pretty easy to follow the workouts or pick a workout and be active. It's easy to talk to people and build relationships for some. But the personal development is the people, what people seem to be lacking, and they don't understand how if they're doing two of them that, that – are important and that usually because it's listed in one, two, three, I think people think those are more important that they don't have to do the personal development. Personal development is what really changed everything with me. And you know, one, one thing that you said is that getting to these events and these are things like I see coaches out there that they're like Monday through Friday, they pose, they talk about their workouts, they had a great transformation. And this is why people always say, Oh, well, you know, 
somebody has a hundred pound weight loss story, why aren't they succeeding as a coach? Most of the time, it's that they're not doing the personal development and they're still stuck at, in their mind as that 300 pound person instead of having the personal development that help them, you know, get past the, you know, issues that they have mentally and emotionally. And, and you know, personal development is there not for the weak minded, not for the low self esteem, but for everybody. It just makes you be a better person. It doesn't change who you are, but it makes you be the person you're designed to be. You know, and I see other coaches out there who don't go to events. They never have it on their dream board to go to seven. And I understand that there are some people that can't always get to seven because of finances, because of babysitting issues, because of stuff. And I know like Andrea is on our call right now and she's trying to get there, planning on being there, but she's in the military. So I understand that not everybody can get to every event. It's not feasible. However, if you never attend Super Saturday in your area, and you know, I know people live in rural areas. I've drove four hours to them. But if you don't get to people who are in within the organization, you don't ever get anywhere with where there's a corporate-led event and you only are in contact with your coach and maybe you have some local coaches and maybe you don't, you know, you never get experience that. And that, you know, I remember that, you know, I was, you know, a, I think, well, I think I was a three-star diamond coach when I attended that summit, but that's what it changed everything because Summer Tucker's story and, um, oh, what it was, oh, what is her name? I know her name. The one, she's a child that has Down syndrome. Oh, what is her name? Um, she spoke that, at that summit, I remember thinking like, oh, yeah. yeah, all these people have these stories and they're able to move past. And there's so many people from the sidelines watch us on Facebook and think, oh yeah, you know, like you said, people said, oh, you never have had any struggles. They don't see the struggles because it's so easy. And that's why I, as a coach, really try to share the ups and downs, the highs and lows, the good and the bad, so that they don't get this, you know, uh, false, you know, insight into what they really think my life and my success has been like. You know, if you're on this call, if you're listening to it live or recording, one thing I can't stress enough is doing three vital behaviors. And so many people self-sabotage and say, well, I've done two of them for six months. I don't see anything. Why not just try, you know, three vital behaviors for 30 days straight or even 21 days straight to get into a habit. And then more than anything, get to a live event. We, the next Super Saturday is July 25th. I know Dallas does Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays now. So I would say check your area. It's in the Coach Online office under the events, under news and training. Find one in your area. If you have to drive three or four hours, so be it. If you bring your spouse, bring your family along so they understand because this is a family-related business. So save the day for either July 24th, 25th, or 26th, wherever it is in your area. You know, if you are close to Nashville, then get there. You can still buy tickets. You can still show up. Um, or if not, then save the, you know, the date for next year, I, I don't know what the date is yet, so I can't really tell you to say the date. might be mid-June or mid-July again. I don't know. But make sure that you put it on your, your list of goals long-term to get there. Save 100 bucks a month. I mean, if it's important to you, it's worth it. Bring your family along. I mean, I saw the last couple summits I've been at, people packing around a couple-month-old babies. Um, Melissa was pregnant. Yeah, Melissa was pregnant, sick as hell. Drove, you know, into the wee hours of the morning with one of her other coaches who was breastfeeding and pumping and leaving her infant child for the first time. So I'm saying, when the, where there's will, there's a way. And I watched those two women that I just referred to as business explode since then. And I will say, after every event, number one, you come away with takeaways. You come away with the right atmosphere. And then, you know, our volume goes way up. So, I mean, again, too, if you're not doing it now, you have about a month out to start promoting size, the beach body performance line. Um, that's coming out and also autumn food cookbook. These are the things that drive your business and, you know, don't wait till the day that they go live and be, you know, asking me when I'm at summit about these programs, like happened last year about Pio, start doing your research now because you are a business owner and this is going to help your business. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. I want to thank you for getting on. Does anybody have any questions for brand um, or any comments or anything? You can unmute yourself or, Whatever, or all. Does anybody have anything? Got a smile. <laughs> Missy's smiling. Missy's smiling. Missy's <laughs> smiling. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for getting on. Thank you, Brianne. Thank, thank you for having me. Your husband. Um, next week, we do not have a call because I'm going to be in Southern California um, for the Pio infomercial shoot. I think that somebody in, within Diesel Nation has a, um, a call that. It will be on Tuesday, so I'll get everyone plugged into that. Um, the next call is July 2nd. Tiffany Dancy is going to be on um, as um, our, my guest speaker, so make sure that you save the date. Ask people in your downline to jump on. It is open to the public. So thank you, and have a great night. Are you, I'll see you at Summit, Grand. Yes, yeah, see ya. Bye-bye. Thank you.